Hey, welcome back to another episode of the Historic Headstones in Norfolk. We are over across the Elizabeth River here in Portsmouth today. We are at the Olive Branch Cemetery. We are going to be talking about a Korean War hero. I have never done a video or even tour the Korean uh, War hero, so this is the first time I've done this. We're going to be talking about Richard Shea. Uh, he was born January 3rd, 1927, and he died January, uh, July 8th, 1953. He was a soldier in the United States Army in the Korean War. He was listed as missing in action on July 8th, 1953, during the Second Battle of Port Chop Hill. There is a movie about this. I think it's called Port Chop Hill, to be quite honest with you. It's actually pretty good. I don't know how realistic it is, because you know Hollywood, but it's kind of based on this guy as well and was later declared killed in action. Lieutenant Shea received the Medal of Honor after his death in 1987. He was inducted into the Virginia Sports Hall of Fame as well. A native of Norfolk County, Virginia, Shea graduated from Churchland High School. He first studied in uniform at Virginia Polytechnic uh, Institute height of World War II, but he left early to join the U.S. Army in 1944. He served in post-war post Europe rising to the rank of staff sergeant before he entered West Point in 1948. Shea was an All-American in track and is said to have been the greatest track star to attend West Point. He ran his first competitive race at VPI and one of the West Point Black Knights most celebrated distance runners. Uh, he captured um, heptagonal and IC4A individual cross-country titles in three uh, years straight helping Army to three straight team heaps, hips titles during that time. The top performer on Army's dominant cross-country team, Shea led the Black Knights' 19-2 19, 19 record during his West Point career, a mark that included three straight shutouts of arch-rival Navy. And you guys all know Navy and Army hate each other when it comes to sports. He set seven academy records in out, indoor and outdoor. Uh, track and field and established a meet record in the two miles run at the Penn Relay, uh, Relays in 1951. Shea repeated as a two mile champ of both the Penn Relays and the Hepagonal Championships in 1951 and 1952. His standards in the indoor one mile run and the two mile run remain the Army's record books for more than a decade. Since 1952, only eight Army runners have achieved a better time in, in the mile either indoors or outdoors. Today, Army's outdoor track and field complex bears his name and West Point, turning down the opportunity to, to attend the Olympic Games for the United States. He decided after graduating in 1952, he was going to join his classmates in the Korean War and go overseas and fight for the country. All right, so he received the Medal of Honor for actions on July 7th and 8th, 1953, as an Army First Lieutenant and Acting Company Commander in uh, Pork Chop Hill. Uh, I'm going to try to say this as a Korean name. I'm probably going to butcher it. Soka Gay, Korea, during the Korean War. Fighting, out, uh, fighting outnumbered, he voluntarily proceeded to the area most threatened, organizing and leading a counterattack. In the ensuing bitter fighting, he killed two of the enemy with his trench knife in hand-to-hand -hand combat. And over 18 hours of heavy fighting, he moved among the defenders of Port Chop Hill, organizing a successful defense. Leading a counterattack, he killed three enemy soldiers single-handedly with his bare hands. Wounded, he refused evacuation. He was last seen alive fighting hand-to-hand -hand while leading another desperate counterattack against the Koreans. He left behind a wife and unborn son. His Medal of Honor was presented to his widow at the parade grounds of Fort Myers, Virginia by Secretary of the Army Robert W. Stevens on May 16, 1955. Okay, he's got two stones here. He's got the family stone he's got the military stone. This is his military stone. Richard Thomas Shea Jr. Medal of Honor. That is a picture of the Medal of Honor. First Lieutenant U.S. Army, Korea, January 3, 1927. July 8, 1953, they got a brand new flag flying here next to a stone, as it should be. And then back here is just his regular stone. Since he died in Korea and his body was never found, these are epitaphs. He is not buried here. We do not know where his body is and never will. So this is the closest we'll get. And um, 
you can see first lieutenant seventh uh infantry division and then you got the 1952 down there so this guy kind of has a movie after him as well so he's a pretty famous guy and he gave his life for his country so thank you for your service um okay guys take care this is our last video over here i've never been here before um well hopefully we'll have more i gotta explore the cemetery I gotta come over here one day with somebody and just walk around for a day and take photos and learn all right guys take care and we'll see you in the next episode of historic headstones in norfolk